Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technolobe. This is the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. So Samsung is launching a couple of new watches, the Watch 5 and Watch 5 Pro. I have been using the Watch 5 Pro since the past 10 days or so. And today in this video, let's talk in detail about these watches. They are very interesting and come with a bunch of cool features. Now with these new watches, Samsung is focusing on a couple of key things. First up is durability and second is battery life. Samsung has taken a big step forward in terms of durability. Why do I say that? That's because of the sapphire crystal on the display on these new watches. Yes, you heard me right, sapphire crystal. We all know that sapphire crystal doesn't scratch that easily. It might scratch at a level 7 with deeper grooves at a level 8. If you know, you know. Now I can talk all about the sapphire crystal display, but nothing beats the scratch test. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, welcome to the scratch test of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5. I've got some common items over here like a scissor, a knife, a screwdriver, I have some keys, some coins and a safety pin. Let's go ahead and scratch this display with all of these items one by one and let's see if we see some you know visible scratches. We are going to start with this coin. So let's go. And as you can see, there are no visible scratches on the display with this coin. So the coin did not have an effect on this sapphire crystal and that is excellent. Next up, we have the scissors. Let's go ahead and scratch the display with these pair of scissors. Again, as you can see, the scissors could not do anything. There are no visible scratches and that is excellent. All right, let's go ahead and scratch the display pretty good this time. The same result yet again, it did not get scratched at all and that is a really, really good thing. Now I'm going to switch the device, I'm going to go to watch 5 over here for the next item which is, you know, this knife. Let's go ahead and try to scratch the watch 5 with this knife. As you can see, there are no scratches on the Watch 5 display as well because of the Sapphire Crystal. It works really well to be honest. No scratches at all. That was incredible, right? Now the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro also comes with a new case. This is a titanium case and it's supposed to be way stronger than aluminum which you find on the normal Galaxy Watch 5. So as I said, Samsung has taken big steps forward in terms of durability and that clearly shows with the Sapphire Crystal and titanium case. Now this titanium case is very strong. How strong do you ask? Let's go ahead and do a quick drop test as well, shall we? So I've got the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro over here and let's go ahead and drop it in 3, 2, 1, let's go. So as you can see, there are no dents or something like that on this watch. It's completely normal even after you know dropping it from such a height. So the drop test is successfully passed. Now that was a wooden floor. Let's try dropping this watch on a marble floor. That will be really interesting, won't it? Let's go ahead and do that in 3, 2, 1. That was, you know, definitely a hard drop. Let's go ahead and see if it's okay or not. So as you can see, this watch is still very good. No major dents or scratches whatsoever. And that is excellent. The titanium case and the sapphire crystal were a good choice in terms of durability. Now this happens a lot to me. When I'm walking around, my watch will accidentally, you know, touch the corner of a table or a corner of a wall or something like that. And it will get scratched up. But that does not happen with the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. It does not get scratched up that easily. Neither do you see dents because of the titanium case. You also get very good water resistance over here, so you do not need to worry about using this watch in the rain or something like that. It is covered from that as well. Overall, I would say these watches are very durable and Samsung has done a good job over here. Now, the second major improvement is in terms of the battery life. The Galaxy Watch 5 comes with a 410 mAh battery and the Watch 5 Pro comes with a 590 mAh battery. As I said, I have been using the Watch 5 Pro for the past 10 days or so and in my testing period, this watch lasted for 2.5 to 3 days. That is really good battery life for a smartwatch. Yes, this is a smartwatch in all definitions. 
I would say battery life is a big, big improvement with these watches and I am particularly happy about that. I always forget to charge my accessories like my earbuds and watches, but now with this one, I don't have to worry about battery life that much. You also get support for fast charging with both of these watches, so that is excellent. You do not have to wait a long time to charge these watches. So if you have less time in the morning or something like that, you can quickly charge these watches and they will last you throughout the day. That is excellent. Next up, let's talk about design. Now with the Watch 5 Pro, you do not get a physical rotating dial anymore. Instead of that, you get a digital dial. So the dial functionality is still there, but it is a digital dial as opposed to a physical dial. To be honest, I preferred the physical dial and the feel of it. That was just next level. But with that being said, the digital dial is not that bad. The haptic feedback is surprisingly good and you do get that rotating feeling with this dial as well. Also, these are watches with a circular display. I definitely prefer circular watches. What do you guys prefer? Let me know about that in the comment section down below. Now with the Watch 5 Pro, Samsung is also introducing something called as the D-Buckle Strap. This is a new kind of buckle that they're introducing. And honestly, it took me a while to figure this out. It was not easy at all. I had to figure out how to use this strap, but once I did, the fit has been amazing. It claps in magnetically and the fit has been really good. So there is a learning curve to use this, you know, D-Buckle Strap with the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. You also get a bunch of color options for the case and the bands. And yes, the bands are replaceable. So if you want to change the look, then you can definitely do so. Now there is one very important improvement with the Watch 5 Pro. You get outdoor data tracking, basically navigation. So if you're going on a trek or a walk or for a run, then you can get turn by turn navigation with this watch. And that is a very useful feature. I used it while I went on a hike this weekend and it worked really well. So yeah, outdoor tracking works really well on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. This gets me to sleep tracking. You get really precise sleep data. So sleep tracking is working really well and a thumbs up to Samsung for that. Also, you get all the necessary sensors like the heart rate sensor, SpO2 sensor, and all these sensors are improved as well. So you get better tracking with these watches. It comes with a lot of sports mode as well. So if you want to track your running, cycling, or different kind of workouts, then you can definitely do so. You get a bunch of pre-installed sports modes. Now this gets me to software. This watch comes with Wear OS and on top of that you get One UI Watch 4.5. I really like the fact that this watch comes with Wear OS and One UI Watch 4.5 gives you all the necessary features. This watch is very smooth and fast and does not feel laggy at all. Navigation is easy, scrolling and swiping around is easy and overall the entire software feels very responsive. Also with this software, Samsung is introducing a full-size QWERTY keyboard. Yes, a full-size QWERTY keyboard on a watch. It can be used in a lot of applications. For example, if you're replying to someone, you can use the QWERTY keyboard. Or if you want to search a song on Spotify, then you can do that as well. Now with these watches, you can make calls as well. It comes in two variants, Bluetooth and 4G. If you go for the Bluetooth variant, your phone has to be in range and then you can make calls. And with the 4G variant, your phone does not need to be near you. You can make calls from anywhere. The 4G LTE variants come with an eSIM and basically you can configure those eSIMs and make calls on the go. All in all, One UI Watch 4.5 is an excellent software for this watch. Now what about watch faces? These smartwatches come with a super AMOLED display which is really bright and amazing with a great contrast ratio. So it deserves good watch faces and Samsung has got you covered in that. There are minimal watch faces, modern watch faces, retro watch faces and you can customize them as well. You can customize the colors, change the widgets or complications and do a bunch of other things with them. These watch faces are responsive and work really well. Now these smartwatches can work with any Android smartphone out there. So it's not like you only have to buy a Samsung smartphone. They can work with any smartphone out there. So that is a great thing. These watches are very versatile. So I know you guys might be wondering what about the pricing. So the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 starts at 28,000 rupees and the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro starts at 45,000 rupees. You can get some launch offers and cashback as well. I will drop all the details in the description box below along with the links to purchase these watches. So anyway, that's been it. These were the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 and Watch 5 Pro. Do let me know how you feel about this video in the comment section down below. If you like this content, go ahead that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. My name is Hush Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.